Happy 4th of July, everyone. Nobody's going to watch us. Just I know. No. Everybody's <laughs> already going to be drunk at like 7 a.m. No. This, the One of the people responding to the uh, comment or the post on the uh, channel, the community tab. Okay. It's like, nobody's going to watch it, idiot. It's 4th of July. It's a holiday. Okay. Our, our audience isn't even 100% American. And we're not live. You can watch it anytime you want. Okay. So, yeah. Just a hater. It's okay. Yep. Um, well, it'd be better if he was the other guy. What other guy? The, this thumbnail is basically a pornography. Why would you do that to your wife? Okay. Why would I? Why would I do that to you, Nona? Why would I touch you in a thumbnail? Why would I do this? Why would you objectify S- me? So much porn. So much porn. So scary. Okay. I'm a Christian. No, a Christian warrior is what you called him. I don't know. He said two different things two different times, so okay. who knows? I, I can't keep him. up. Um. So, yeah, this is our AMA episode. Yay. Ask me anything. And most of the questions are all over the place, but I have a bunch of them right here. So How I many? All of them. Well, he's obviously seen them and I haven't. Yeah. And I haven't responded to any of them. I counted them. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. You haven't seemed excited. We started this episode and you sat there looking bored. It's been a long day at work. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've been working too. So. You haven't. Yeah, I have. Okay, anyways. So, first question. Where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? I want to start with... um, Who's changed the most? <laughs> who's changed the most pooped diapers? Carlos Bustamante asks. Obviously, me. You think so? What kind of fucking dumbass response is that? Obviously, me. Between the four children. Who said to catheter more people? That's not the question. Okay. So, so don't turn it around to just make yourself I, feel relevant. I adapted the question. But that wasn't the question. Obviously, I have. Between four children, two years in diapers as an average per child, that's eight years of changing poopy like diapers. It seems like a long time. How many diapers a day did you change? It's an average of 10 diapers per child in the beginning. As they get a little bit older, it goes down to about six. Then... I don't know. I can't do math. So let's say a year of 10 diapers per day for four children. And then a year a year of six diapers per children times four. So you can just do 3650 times 10 divided by two to average it out. So we'll call it. 18, yeah, 18,000. Okay. And then we'll round up a little bit because no. some were a little bit more no. than two years. I was years. being generous at 18,000. Okay. Well, cool. So yeah. I, I never changed another diaper after that. Um, Somebody on Facebook, when are you going to apologize to Mike? Mike who? Clover. Again, Mike who? Yeah, there you go. We we made the post, guys, like just because you were too dumb to watch or read. So there was one guy who was engaging with one of the comments or one of the original videos. He's mm-hmm. like, when are you going to post about what happened? And I was like, um, we already did. But clearly the algorithm knows that you were going to engage with this content. That's why you were showed this content. And then you proved the algorithm correct by engaging with this content and not seeking out if you... You literally did not put in the effort to see. So. Again. You played Mike yourself. Who? You played yourself. Okay. Next question. Um, Antoine, Whitney. What's the most important thing you want to learn from being in your relationship? Andrew, what do you want to learn being in a relationship no, no, with no. me? No. Being in our relationship. Yeah. What do you want to learn? 
Mm. Well, I'm the longest relationship that you have ever had in your entire life. I don't think I have anything left to let, do I? I already know how to bake. I just buy a, a pre-made box, turn on the oven, stir some stuff together, throw it in a pan. Okay. Um, what do you need to learn to be a better husband? How to bake. Is not necessarily <laughs> following a to-do list. That's exactly what it means. No, then you're obviously proving the point that you have a lot no, to learn still. No. Yes. No. Adapting to other people's needs, <clears throat> being receptive to... You don't think I've adapted to anybody's... You know what I'd be doing right now if we were married, didn't have kids? Yeah, scratching your ass and watching YouTube. No, I'd probably be like finding a way to spend all that money to go to space. Okay. Yeah. And scratching your ass and watching YouTube. Nah. Be in the gym. And go in space. Okay, I'm preventing you from going to the gym is what I heard. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, serious question from Chris, uh, Chris Denega. I hope that's how he pronounces it. Okay, I'm ready for serious. What's the most single threat to mankind? You know, these are questions that I'm supposed to answer to, right? I just asked you a question and you didn't answer it very well. Um, people's you egos. You didn't answer the question at all. Right. I turned it around on you because I'd answered the one previously or no, actually we, both of we're them. Su- we're both supposed to answer them. People's egos, I think, is the single threat to mankind. No. Everybody being egocentric and putting themselves first. That's my initial response. What's yours? Um... The second coming of the dinosaurs. Clearly, he's taking this so serious, guys. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's a bigger threat than people's egos. Okay, what? Yeah, they're trying to resurrect dinosaurs, even though theoretically. All right, Jurassic Park. They shouldn't be able to breathe on our atmosphere because we didn't. This this is not the atmosphere that existed on Earth when they were around. Okay. But they're breeding them with like elephant DNA. Okay. So we could have velociraptors running around and picking up children and small dogs. Okay. In like probably a matter of years. I think I think <sighs> velociraptors happen before sentient robots. Oh my god. Okay. What? what? You are so special. No, All right, what's I'm, the next question? Admit it. It's going to be it's going to be the thought had never crossed my mind until right now in this moment yeah, when you're supposed to you're supposed to actually consider this, give it some real consideration, real world topics. Come on. I did consider it. And my initial response is Velociraptors. People being egocentric. But okay. Velociraptors. We obviously have two very different takes in life. And caffeine shortages. Velociraptor, yeah. The war, oh my gosh. the war over <laughs> coffee bean land. Oh my god! <laughs> what? It's going to be raged with velociraptors stealing coffee beans. Well, to the best of our knowledge, velociraptors didn't eat cocoa beans or coffee beans, whatever you Correct. call it. Correct. So, you unleash <laughs> the animal. A caffeinated... Er- no, 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 to eradicate, <laughs> to eradicate the people that are cultivating and stealing it and selling it. Okay. We invade. That's what they were trying to do in Jurassic Park. In the, in the new ones, the Jurassic You're World crazy. movies. You're crazy. You're crazy. I don't think I've watched the third Jurassic World movie yet. I need to watch that. Dominion, I think it's called. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. I didn't even know it came out. Yeah, maybe I have. I don't know. I'm sure you have. You've seen like all the movies. No, because there was an issue with it, I believe, the first time I downloaded it. I don't think I ever tried again. Okay. What's the next question? I think you need to reconsider your answer. I'll let the commenters decide that. No, reconsider. Come on, give us a better, give us a better answer. No, I'm sticking with my initial response. Come on, it's boring. 
This so is an AMA episode. It's not a boring episode. Come on. <clears throat> um, Kara Marshall. Conventional gender roles, yay or nay? I'm sorry, what? Conventional gender roles, yay or nay? Yes or no? Oh, it w- you were saying the person's name, and I was... I was hearing it as if it was part of the question. That's oh. sorry. That's what threw me off. Um, hmm. hmm. I consider myself to be a traditionalist. Okay. My ideal role would be to be a housewife. What's a traditional gender role? As if a woman to be a housewife. No, because you have to. You have to pick a period of time and a culture. Hmm. Like. The 50s. In Russia or in America? Ew. No, America. So you you have to pick a time and a culture because it does matter. We could go back all the way to caveman times and you could be gathering berries and I'd be out hunting mammoths. No, no thank you. You don't want to do that? No, thank you. Okay, what about... uh, Okay. What about you, Andrew? What do you think would be the ideal gender role? Um, being rich and just having somebody else do everything. That's that's not a gender role. I mean, sure. If people can identify as trees, you're just or, going to say I identify as rich. No, 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 no. That is my new. No, I'm saying if people can identify as like whatever, uh, as Apache helicopters and they can pin that in on their little job application, then. So am I not supposed to answer these questions with honesty? Are we just bullshitting? No, I'm I'm being honest. (laughs) I'm being honest. So when I become rich, I will pay somebody to do the cooking and cleaning and all that stuff and the working. And then I'll go do fun stuff like ride jet skis. And That's not a gender role though. Yeah, it can be. If people can be, if people can be whatever gender they want to be, I'm applying gender roles to my servants. It works. Everybody knows it. It, does not work. Yes, it does. It 100% works. It does not work. Yes, it does. It's, these people are loosely defining things however, wherever, whenever they want. So I'm going to take advantage of the situation and I'm going to define it how I want. Husband. Well, your wife, wife is not following. There you are. Where are you going to go? I'm not following your logic. Your I, tangent express. It's not a tangent. I'm answering the question. Bullshit. No, it's true. Uh, let's see here. Antoine Whitney again. What's one brand of bacon that Drew refuses to buy? I'm supposed to answer that? Sure. Hair Cedar brand. Have I bought theirs? He said refuses to buy. Right. Hormel. No, I've had Hormel. Yeah. No, there's. No, there was one that I really didn't like. I thought it was Harris Cedar Brand. That's why I said that first. Maybe. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't. How many brands could there possibly be? Like, actually, how many brands? Do you really think that Harris Teeter and Kroger? aren't just having Smithfield or Boar's Head or whatever do it and repackage it like everybody else is. And it's just like, oh, these are the the shit ends and we have the premium product that we'll char- charge. And they still get a margin from that anyways. Right. So both brands are making money. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you get the, and eh, it's kind of lean, it's kind of shitty. Mm-hmm. You get that. Slap your label on it. Right. Hormel, Boar's Head, Smithfield, whatever. whatever. the case might be. They yeah. still get paid. Mm-hmm. And the brand gets to put their label on it. Mm-hmm. You know what's kind of funny? 
um, Kirkland brand, and I think we talked about this before, they're like becoming known for having like award winning wine. Award winning wine? Yeah. You, were, like, you you talked about Trader Joe's wine. That was what you talked they, about. So yeah, them too. But but no, you've never talked about Kirkland. Wine. Costco, their brand apparently is like. And it's like seven ninety nine. Yeah. It's like Eric said, the price doesn't matter. It's how many fucking no, words on the bottle. But he also said, "What's at the grocery store is not the good stuff." Right. So. Anyways. And you guys will never see that episode. <laughs> Channel members will once we get that feature turned on. Okay. If they want to see it, they'll they'll put it in the comments. Tell us you want to see it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's Chris Denega, fun question. Who's the jokester in the relationship? Obviously him. <laughs> he likes to pull all the shit. Not no. just pranks, but all the shit. No. Yes. No. Yes. Have you ever tried to prank me? Nope. Are you the saying only no? thing Are that I've no ever because pulled it's never on. worked? The only thing, no, I've never even considered pranking you. The only thing I've ever pulled all over on you are, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on surprise the birthday surprise party. parties. Yes. Is your, your water hitting you real hard over there right now? No, it was such a long day at work. My brain is literally uh, fried. But you wanted to record anyways. But you said we had to. Oh well, yeah. Because we need to get this episode out for the Right. Day. So I am I, I promise am the people, here. I promise the people present. their AMA. My brain is just okay. not on. I am so tired and brain fried. Sure. If you say so. Are you sure you are? Yeah. That's the only thing I've ever pulled over on you are surprise parties for your birthday. I've never tried to prank you. It's never even crossed my mind as something to do. Marshall Lanfear wants to know, how does Drew make his world famous pulled pork? Um, so he sticks it on the smoker and he walks away and he drinks lots of beer and he falls asleep on the couch and then he puts it in the oven and then he puts the towel in the oven with the pork on a very low heat for me to find and let him know that he almost burned the house down. That's how. That's how he makes his world famous. It was work. supposed to be turned off. That was one time. Yep. He almost burned the house down, guys, making his world famous pork. No, so how you do Luckily, it? Luckily I was there. How you do it? And you have a stick burner. No pellets. No mm-hmm. automated bullshit. Easy bake oven nonsense. And oh, by the way, um, YouTube—I don't—they haven't updated yet, but somebody was just notified that using the word "fucking" will demonetize your video, and it doesn't matter if it's in the first ninety seconds or not. It's any time of the video, so I think that's fucking stupid. Thanks for letting me know by saying it multiple times in our episodes, yeah. so that we get demonetized yeah. when yeah. that occurs. Sorry, I'm just proving a point. Okay. I haven't seen true confirmation yet, but we'll see. Okay. Um, no, so what you do is you buy it, you go to the store, okay, or you can have it butchered if you want, I guess. But if you want to do it on a whim mm-hmm. and buy it on a whim, like, yeah, you only hours buy you it when it. you only buy it when it's on sale, don't ever pay full price, okay? You, yes, me. Well, you, you're just you're just wrapped up in a whole different kind of pricing gimmick. A sale isn't even really a sale, especially when you buy more just to throw more away. That's You know, right? We make a bunch of food or we buy a bunch of food and then we only make it through about a, a fraction of it. And then it either gets left as leftovers in the fridge for a week and gets thrown away anyways. So that's how they get you. They know you're going to end up throwing it away. You're still probably ending up with the same amount of food in everybody's stomachs and scraps to the dogs. Nope, I disagree. Yeah, no, I'm right. That's why yeah. everybody's always like, why is your refrigerator so empty before I got in a relationship? Because uh, I go to the store, I buy what I want, when I need it, I cook it, and I eat it. There's nothing extra there. <laughs> Save money that way. It's efficient. It is. You're right. You know I'm right. 
So no, I'm right. You so just said that. So I'm you, right. You go to the store. Actually, I want to make this joke real quick. My grandma, anytime you ask her how she made something, she said, I made it to the store and back, but traffic was kind of terrible. <laughs> That's your go-to. Yeah. Uh, so you buy, you buy the pork butts. Mm-hmm. You open the packaging. You serrate, lance, whatever you want to call it, the fat cap to help it give more surface area for heating to help it cook through a little bit quicker and render the fat a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then you flip it over, put it in your little pan. Mm -hmm. And some people say that you should cut the meat. I haven't seen a difference. Okay. Um, I think you get more of like the, the smoky ends if you do. Mm-hmm, which but are some of your favorites, right? But you also, depends. But you also end up with m- more of the meat being dry. It, it, it all, it's going to the actual size of the fucking piece that you get. Mm-hmm. If you buy like a 14 pounder from Costco, yeah, you probably want to cut it a little bit. If you buy like a four pounder from the corner store, you probably don't want to. Okay. So. There you go. That was your um, good piece of advice. Then I have a proprietary go-to blend of seasoning and rubs that I use. And by proprietary, I make it up every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I'll do mustard. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I won't do anything at all. Sometimes I just use the brown sugar and it'll caramelize on it anyways and hold it. It just depends. It depends. Whatever he's feeling based on yeah. the few items he has bought at the store. Or what's already in the cabinet so I don't have to go back to the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really just about the smoke flavor. I mean, sometimes the seasoning, but... But then no. you also make a special North Carolina yeah. barbecue sauce yeah. to go yeah. with it. Vinegar sauce. Yes. Not that nonsense Kansas City... That's what North Carolina or, barbecue or sauce is. Or South Carolina vinegar. mustard. <clears throat> mustard. Who would eat pork with mustard? I don't know. That's weird. So, yeah. Then you lots of hours, lots of beers, yeah, lots of sleeping in between. I that buy, he pretends I buy that he full, doesn't. I buy full hickory logs, mm-hmm. so I get I get it rolling with charcoal, and then I'll get the first log or two in there, and I'm talking like actual logs, not chunks. Logs. Get them in there. Get them rolling. As soon as I see that blue smoke, when we hit two twenty five, two fifty, they go in. That's funny that that question got popped up because what did I try to do the other day? Oh, you tried to buy me a new smoker? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, it's too hot out. No, and then I looked at what our local... It's you fucking wanted, too you hot wanted, no, out you, to smoke some pork, wanted, says the man who loves some smoked pork. You wanted to go to Lowe's. Mm-hmm. So I pulled up what was available at Lowe's because when we were there the day prior, mm-hmm. I did not like what they had. You literally pointed at... No, I said that style. I said that style. I said I wasn't going to do another combo grill smoker that it needed to be fully dedicated. You walked over with intent towards one. I was like, okay, that's the one. No. I think it was Oklahoma Joe, right? I think so. No. It needs to be, needs something that can heat soak a little bit better. You literally touched it and was like, this is perfect. No, I, I was comparing the two that were in that aisle, and I said, this one is better than that one. That's what I said. Yep. You're exhausted. No, nope. I don't leave my words to interpretation. The way that I say things is how I mean them. So, CJ Knight, most yeah. embarrassing story about Drew. Can we circle back to that one? I need to think. I can't think off the top of my head. Okay. Okay, we can come back to it. Antoine, uh, how does Drew handle the kiddos on a, on a daily basis? Well, during the school year, he takes them to school for me every single morning so that I get 30 minutes uninterrupted of just coffee and chill time. It's my 30 minutes of peace before working. And dog barking. And dog barking. <laughs> So I would say that's the highlight of my day. By the way, she didn't like my joke. I said the other day that we needed to figure out turn down the volume on the alarm system. She didn't even laugh. She, she's still not laughing. 
I'm still thinking about what your embarrassing story is going to be without you sure. possibly murdering me. What is the most, or Antoine again, and I'm reading it how he wrote it. Okay. So what is the most silliest thing Drew can do to help make your bad days turn around for the better? See, when, when something bad has happened, um, honestly, I just want a really big hug. I don't want anything that is silly ha ha because it doesn't make it better. I think he's asking like, what is like a goofy thing that I consistently do that that's always something that aids in whatever else. That's my interpretation of the question. So we need like a live studio audience that can actually. Well, I thought we were doing this episode live. No. That's what I. No. Was under these people are not. Dude, these people live all over the country. They're not going to drive and fly here to ask no, one no, no, question. No, I meant like live streaming questions. So they were coming in. We were answering them. No. Okay. That's no. that's what I thought was going to no. happen. No. Clearly, clearly, I had some other idea. The audience. Is that that would have worked in 2020? Okay. That doesn't work right now. Okay. Obviously, I don't have anything to compare it to, so this is just an if idea. You have, I had if in you my have head. a million subscribers and you want a bunch of random people asking oh, questions, that works. Because yeah. yeah. the the option to get to that point, once once you uh, monetize the channel, you also have what are called super chats. Okay. And so you can have one feed of questions, but then you have another one that people can pay for. Oh. So you can ignore the freebie questions, <laughs> which is what people typically do, and then they'll only answer the paid questions. Some people like Linus, Linus Tech Tips, what they do is they attach a line on the checkout form on their, their store. So you have to buy a product. Oh, my God. And then you ask a question as you purchase your product. No, thank you. Why? That is... That's disgusting. You could sell stickers. That's how uh, Cleus McFarlane, that's how a lot of his giveaways are like successful. People will go and buy like, because he sells like uh, some racing parts and stuff, but he also sells like t-shirts and stickers. That's the majority of what makes his money. And then he'll literally give away a several thousand dollar turbo kit for because somebody bought a $3 sticker. Yeah, I can't tell your embarrassing story. You will literally murder me. So, sorry guys, I can't answer that one. What's the second most then? Uh, no. What's the third most? Nothing compares. What's the fourth most? <laughs> Nothing compares. What do you need? They they need an answer. Come up with an answer. No, it's okay. We'll we'll make just make up a story. No, I'm I. That I cannot do. Sure, I am whatever. Very truthful. Two, two related questions coming back to back, okay? Okay. So let me scroll back to the bottom. Okay. Or scroll back to the top. So CJ, sorry you got screwed over on that. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I, I'm just kidding. Well, I would prefer to live, so. <clears throat> um. Okay, yeah. So I have two that are related. Okay. Um. Do you both have a future, quote, dream home in mind? Uh, or is this where you want to be? He actually took me looking at houses this past weekend. His dream home would be in the middle of nowhere on like a couple hundred acres with neighbors, just grass. And trees. And trees and nothing else around that he says he's supposedly going to maintain, which I call bullshit. Whereas my dream home is the opposite and the beach would be at my toes and the wind would be in my hair and the water would just be a reach away so we have two very different dream homes no, so you have to get rich like some of these people that build their own beaches no yeah no you don't even like the waves you don't even go out into the water you dip your toes and that's all you do you don't need the ocean. It's not you know, yeah. a, it's not about a need. It's a it's a peace of mind and it's a a state of desire for me. I'm born and raised here by the ocean and that's 
where I want to be. The country is not the, for me. Okay. Sorry to interrupt here real quick. I said the weirdest call screen. Okay. Okay. What? Hello. This is Veronica on the recorded line chemistry. I think it's probably an interpretation okay. for Timothy Lee Max. Okay. So my dad and I have the same middle name, but my dad goes by Tim. Uh, regarding personal religious matter, take care. Bye. Okay. Take care. Bye. I need to hear the audio. You guys want to hear the audio? Get to, no, I don't, yeah, I can do that later. Sorry, I got a new phone and it's still like setting up things as he it occurs. He loves his new phone. Blah, blah, blah. He says right. it's more right. amazing than my boobs. That's no. That is exactly no. word for no. word what he said when it no. came yesterday. All right, you guys ready to hear this? Because he came, not me. Recording this call for the person you're trying to reach. Before I try to connect, you can ask what you're calling about. La Max. Okay, let me try to get the person you're trying to reach on the line. Sorry, but they're not able to take the call. I already shared our conversation, but if you'd like to add anything else, please. It was actually personal business matter. That's what it says. And obviously, you can tell from the accent that it was a fucking Ooh. scammer. Right. Personal business. Personal business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to inspect your personal business. Yeah. Much inspect big <clears throat> business. That was boring. All right, what's the next question? Uh, la, 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 la. I'm out of order now. Uh, okay, Marshall. Okay. Will Drew ever own a home in an HOA again? That is a really good question because the neighborhoods that he took to would never in a million years see him there. And I could see you getting knocked down, knocked down drag out with the HOA president in all of those situations. Mm -hmm. But he was the one who suggested going to these places, not me. See what the strategy is. Show you the things that I don't want first so that I can show you the things that I do want after. Like you have seen what you want to see. Not big brain. Don't pretend. Yeah, it is. Don't pretend. No, that's good. Okay. Um... I think that's all for Facebook. Okay. Is it? No, you still have to come up with a story for CJ. I can't. You will you murder have Marty. No. You will murder I say me. come up with a story. I'm not making up a story. You have to. I'm not. You have to. You have to come up with a story. Come on. Mm -mm. Come no, on. I can't. You have to. I can't. You have to. I cannot. You will hold it over me for the rest of my life. You have to. Come up with a story. Sorry, CJ. Come up with a story. One day I can tell it to you in person, quietly. Why? Not for the entire world to be. You would still hate me for saying it then. All right. I'm going to, I went back to the other post asking if you should come back to Facebook to see if there was <laughs> anything else in there that was timely. Okay. Uh, Chris Nega said, to see the family and send birthday wishes. Plus, she seems pretty cool to be friends with. So it was more of a Aww. comment than anything. Uh, John Montgomery, who did you ever meet John? He's in uh, the same MC as Sean, but he I had do not he had think visited. So. He lives in like Washington State, so he was out here a couple of times. He was deployed or something a couple of years ago, like during COVID. Mm. I don't know the exact timeline. Uh -huh. Um. But he said that you should come back because you need to learn proper ladder placement. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Not until you learn proper ladder placement. So you can't come back until you figure out how to deal with this thing. Fuck you. Um, so apparently this had something, some sexual connotation to it and I don't understand it. They told me to Google it and I refused to Google it. But Scott Burrell said her shoes... Hashtag pick pickler. And I said, context? He said, Google it. And I said, or then Michelle Webb said, he means her boobs. Scott Burrell said, but I said shoes. So. <laughs> I don't know what pick pickler is. Somebody, somebody explain that. Maybe, maybe Scott can explain that. Yeah, Scott. 
Explain what you Scott. talking about, Explain. Scott? Yeah. Um, Chris Swift says you need her to complete you. Aww. Aww. He posts enough. He doesn't care whether I'm there or not. You would like Swifty. He's hilarious. You call him Swifty? Yeah. Like Taylor Swift or Swifties? This was before Taylor Swift was like famous. <laughs> or maybe. When did Taylor Swift become famous? Like 2012? Yeah, so before. I've known him since before she became famous. Okay. This is, it was when I was in the Army. Oh, okay. He was one of the uh, team leaders for my squad. Okay. All right. Thanks, Swifty. <clears throat> but uh, so he said that, and I said, I'm being held hostage by the possibility she'll read this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we can blame it on mental trauma from the army. It just wasn't, I just wasn't in my right state of mind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Christine Peterson said, so she can roast you. Thank you. And then I responded with, guess I'm telling her nobody wants her back. <laughs> I could see you doing that yeah. as well. Uh, CJ. Okay. The one you haven't responded <laughs> I'm to. I'm sorry. Uh, if you get embarrassed, yes, she should. Which I don't know how. I've been friends with him for longer than that, right? How long have I been friends with you on Facebook, CJ? Isn't there a way to see that? See friendship. No, I'm not CJ Hollenkamp. Okay, well, that's only CJ that... 14 mutual friends, including Joe Wood. How am I still friends with Joe Wood? He did have, like, several accounts for a while, so... I... <laughs> He's been spying on you this whole time. Why would he? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Okay, well, there we go. All right. Well... I totally thought the we were first talking time, about your childhood friend, CJ. The first, no, the first time he commented on my Facebook, at least in my, the C friendship thing, mm -hmm. uh, was August 13th, 2022. So, and it doesn't say, didn't it used to say when? Sent like since blah, 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 or something like that? Uh, maybe. Like you can, you can click, um, you friendship. That, what I clicked. Oh. See friendship. Oh, maybe because maybe well, maybe because you're a verified account now and you're a public figure or whatever, and just it changes mm. that. Maybe I don't know. I'm speculating. Sure. Um. Um. <laughs> Not if she doesn't want to. From your past post, it seems like she'd be bothered by stupid people. <laughs> if she wants to, yes, but it's on her to decide. Like trying to be all diplomatic. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, it is on me to decide. Um, and sometimes I'm bothered by stupid people. That's part of why mm -hmm. I'm not on social media. Sure. <laughs> stupid people are stupid. Unrelated. I want to order that T-shirt. Go for it. Okay. The Enron Ethics Department Employee of the Year. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. That's all the questions? There's other ones other places, but I didn't consolidate them all. Pull it up. No. Well, you know how long it's going to take? That requires effort and... You say you have big brain. I do. You can put that big brain to good use right yeah. now. Find a couple more questions. By the way, I got a call earlier too before I turned on call screening again on okay. this phone from Memorial Hospital of South Bend. And it was a person speaking to me in Spanish. And I kept saying wrong number and they screamed at me and hung up. What? Yeah. So, yeah. Why would they still have your number? I'm pretty sure it was like a phone at the hospital, not the hospital calling me. Okay. There's no, I, there's no reason for them to. So then maybe somebody was hurt and delusional and dialed the wrong number. They sure. meant to call somebody else. Middle with... of the day on a Wednesday. They already blew off their fingers. Yeah. <laughs> or um, what was that? What was that movie or show? There was something like there's like a syndrome where like people like. 
they have like a concussion and then like all of a sudden they like can't speak English anymore, but they can like, they know other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, maybe it's on the dissociative disorder spectrum. I don't know. (laughs) Wouldn't that be funny? If, (laughs) if, if it was your brother (laughs) and he bonked his head and he woke up from his abbreviated coma, only only speaking Espanol. Yeah. Somebody else from your family would have called you, not your brother. Maybe they your were... dad would have called you as a courtesy. By the way, your brother is in the hospital, just needed you to know. Maybe and they... you would have said K back. Because that's the kind of response no. you would have given. No, I say OK. I'm just, I'm giving the audience context that he no. wouldn't give a fuck no. if his brother was in the hospital. No, that's not true. It's true. That's not true. It's true. It's not true. Okay. Okay. See, I don't say that. So you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm right. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the podcast. Mm -hmm. And actually, I changed it now. It's you're wrong. I'm right. (laughs) Funny. You're so funny. It's going to take me me too long to find everything else. If you have questions for a future. Yes, please. Minus embarrassing story that's the one that we can't answer i want to see if there's anything on okay. youtube studio come on you need to continue talking talk, i'm talk 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 talk, talk. talk. Come on. brain Keep fried talking. sleepy head so tired long day oh here we go do you guys like olive garden <laughs> it's such a random question um so we got olive garden for the first time here in wilmington in 2006 i believe and there would literally be lines wrapped around the door of people waiting to go into olive garden what was the go-to before that then because i've carabas across the street carabas was here before olive carabas garden. was here before yeah interesting carabas has been here for a really long time and the food quality is still better at carabas than olive garden olive garden is definitely like the mcdonald's of italian food <laughs> we've had carabas for a long time but we've had olive garden since fuck before i was born really so i don't know how long it's been there but yeah we yeah it was like i think 2006 when we got you sure it didn't move no i'm a th- dude i'm born and fucking raised here i'm sure it name, I you're didn't. from wilmington name every restaurant say okay so back in 2006 we had carabas eddie romanelli's Olive Garden just was created, um, and there were a few handful niche local Italian restaurants like Elizabeth's, um, Tarantelli's, I believe, was already. Uh, Terrazzo's was already in place and delicious. Rocco did not exist yet. Um, Tony's. Fat Tony's. That was Fat Tony's, not Tony's. I thought that was just a pizza place. That's actually Mm-mm. an Italian restaurant. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Right. Oh, and Freddy's. Forgot about Freddy's. Freddy's is at Curry Beach. Also very niche. Only open for a couple of hours a day. Hmm. Did that answer your question? I said every restaurant, not every Italian that restaurant. Was, okay, I was answering Italian restaurants 2006. As a Christian man, this thumbnail is just a slip away from being pornography. Yeah, in, you've already commented in, no, no, in, that. In quotes, in quotes, mm-hmm. being pornography. Uh, why do you treat your woman in such a way? Disgusting. Such a way. Yeah, you said this on this last episode. No, this is actually the same guy, but a recent comment about oh, he, the thumbnail from yesterday's yesterday's episode. So he he came back. Yeah. To yeah. say basically the exact same thing yeah. in quotation marks. I wish. Oh my God, that'd be cool. I wish I could click because if I click, it takes me to their channel. So this is the guy, Ellie and Ali. The guy for what? The guy that made both comments. What? Yeah. I was totally picturing some old ass dude. He looks like he's 45. Yeah, but I wish that if you clicked on it, there's a feature suggestion in YouTube studio. Okay. Um, I wish that you could 
just to see every all the content from that one person. Uh, so like the C friendship on right, Facebook. Right, right, right. What other comments he's leaving on yeah. other people's pages? No, 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 no. On ours specifically. Oh. oh, 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 okay. I did see. So if they're a public subscriber, mm-hmm. and I would have to find an example of this. There's like, there we go. Actually, oh, uh, Kashim, however you say his name. So he's a public subscriber. Mm-hmm. So I think I showed it to you. Do you remember? I have no idea. I saw maybe, maybe I just caught it one day. Mm-hmm. Like they just happened to be testing out something, but there was a, yeah, that's weird. I must've just seen like a, a temporary feature or something. Mm-hmm. But there was a, a brief period of time where you can click on it and you can see everything that they had ever commented on. Or maybe it was a fluke. Yeah, probably. Maybe they didn't actually it was probably that. an oopsie. But you, So did you ever have uh, Google Plus? No. All right, a story for a different day. Though. Yeah, don't know what that is. Anyways. You actually do know what it is. You just don't know about that name. Okay. So. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. Yes. What kind of answer is yes? Because I was going to say no. Right. So what's your question, Andrew? Are you coming back to Facebook? 